Our most gracious Heavenly Father, which are in heaven, Father God, I come to you at this time to drop the mail off in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you forgive me of sins, of commission sins, of omission sins that I've committed knowingly and sins that I've committed unknowingly, Father God. I pray and I ask in the name of Jesus that you do something special in this house today, Father God. Let those who came seeking knowledge receive knowledge. Let those who came seeking understanding receive understanding. Let those who came seeking wisdom receive wisdom. Lord, we love you, we honor you, we praise you, and we lift you up. And to those who agree, say amen, 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 amen. and amen. As we close out the year 2023, uh, the title of my message today is simply, uh, as I'm projecting into 2024, that 2024 would be the year of greater works. Amen. The year of greater works. The year of greater than. Or for you all who just want to hold on to the word of greater, 2024 would be the year of greater. Amen. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. As we come to the end of the year of 2023, I must confess that this has been a year filled with great challenges, hurdles, and obstacles that only God knows about, Miss Carol. Mm -hmm. uh, I never want to paint the picture that life is perfect and that everything is peaches and cream because that is not always the case and rarely at all uh, uh, is never the case. Uh, this year has been filled with its ups and downs. It's been filled with its highs and its lows. Uh, it's had some good times. Miss Mary has had some bad times. Uh, it's had some peaks, Joshua. Uh, it had some valleys as well. And as we come to the conclusion of the year of 2023, all I can think of as but God. But God. Uh, 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 does anybody in the house have a but God praise? Yes. Uh, a but God praise. When you can't explain how you made it, and all you can say is, but God. Uh, yeah. When you've been stressed to the max at times this year, you are still here when all you can just say is, but God. Uh, when you thought you were going to lose your mind, but yeah. you still got your mind you intact, but you God. Doing? When you wanted to walk off that job because you just couldn't take it no more, thanks be unto God that you still gainfully employed, you still got a job, you still on payroll, but God. When you was in that situation where you was embarrassed to talk about that situation, where you uh, embarrassed because that situation could have turned out real bad, but yeah. God. Okay. I've had some moments this year where I had to pinch myself because God showed up in ways where uh, you know God is real. When you uh, 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 believe in God, but when God blows your mind in a way that you couldn't even imagine, all you can say is, but God. And if I didn't learn nothing else about this year, I learned that God is still God. And if you allow God to sit on the throne of your life and get yourself out of the way, God will carry you. Uh, God will keep you. God will preserve you. God will undergird you. God will wrap his arms around you and wholeheartedly take care of you in a way where all you can think is but God. Amen. And I'm thankful about leaving a chapter and going into 2024. I'm, I'm excited, I'm elated and ecstatic for the year of 2024. As we close one chapter and we enter into another. Uh, last year I declared that this would be uh, uh, the year of renewal. And I watch renewal take place in the lives of the people uh, who are connected to this ministry on so many levels. But as I continue to pray over and over for months and seeking God for the word for this house, Lord, where do we go from here? Yes. Lord, what's next for this church? Come on. Lord, what's the word for the body of Christ? Lord, uh, uh, what do you want me to declare uh, uh, to your people? On, and for months, God just gave me the word green. Yes, and in my time of prayer, I was reminded of a math lesson that teachers teach frequently and often called inequalities. Mm -hmm. uh, inequalities is a comparison between two expressions or values that's not equal to one another. 
Uh, for the one that's smaller, you have to make that sign that looks like a V. Uh, for the one that's smaller, you got to turn it into the direction that says less than. Uh, for the one that's greater, you got to turn it in the direction of the one that says greater than. And if you are on the number line and you have the X and the Y intercept, the one that's going down, that's going to be less than. The one that's going up, that's going to be greater than. The one that's going toward the negative, that's going to be less than. The one that's going to the right, that one is going to be greater than. For example, if you have a regular sized french fry and you have one that's super sized, uh, the one that's a regular sized fry, that one is less than. And the one that's super sized, that one uh, is greater than. To you all who like to go to Wendy's, if you like to get that little bitty little one with that little piece of meat, that, 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 that Wendy's uh, 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 Junior, uh, 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 and then compare to the one that they have one with three pieces of meat, three big old pieces of meat, yeah. that one called a triple decker. Yeah. The one with the little bitty piece of meat, that one will be less than, and the one with the three big old pieces of meat, that gigantic burger, that one will be greater than. And the point that I'm making is that in 2024, uh, this is going to be a year of greater than. Uh, God is going to take you from the lower end of an inequality to place you on the side of greater than. When you compare 2019 to the upcoming year, it's going to be greater than. When you compare 2020 to this upcoming year, it's going to be greater than. When you compare 2021, 2022, 2023 of what God is going to do in 2024, it's going to be greater than all you could imagine and all that you could think of. And I come with good news today, my brothers and my sisters. I come in the name of Jesus to let you know that you might have been at the back of the line in 2023, where you might have been looked at as less than, but 2024 is coming, and God is moving you from the end of the line and ushering you to the front of the line in 2024 on the side of greater than you might have been in the negative a lot in 2023. I'm talking about negative bank account. I'm talking about negative relationship. I'm talking about negative thoughts in your mind. I'm talking about negative in your heart. But in 2024, God is going to move you to greater than. You may have been at the bottom of some things and the lows of the lows and the bottom of the total pole in 2023. But in 2024, God is getting ready to take you from being at the bottom to greater than. And when I say greater, I mean greater than just trying to survive. When I say greater, I mean greater than just barely making it. When I say greater, I mean greater than just having just enough. When I say greater, I mean greater than doing the bare minimum. When I say greater, I mean greater than just subpar and all of your efforts. It's time to do greater. It's time to Think greater. It's time to believe that you deserve greater. Amen. Amen. That's it. If we serve a God who is called the great I am, how can we not expect greater? Oh, I know this one. Uh, when I serve a God who is called the great I am, yes. uh, if we serve a God who says that the greatest who is amongst you is he who serves, well, when we want to uh, uh, serve God's people, why, when we uh, want to give God our all, when, why when we want to sacrifice who we are and our wills to make society better uh, and to make the world a better place, uh, uh, as God says in Genesis 12 and 2. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great, so that you will be a blessing, and I will Bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you, and all of the families of the earth shall be blessed because of you, because everything connected to me wins. Yes, everything sir. connected yes, to this ministry will win. Everything Amen. that's connected to this church will experience better because of the blessing of this house, because of the favor that's on this house, because of Woo. God's hands resting, ruling, and abiding over this ministry. But we got to do our part because greater it requires work. Greater it requires work. Greater it requires work. I'm talking about greater works. Greater works doesn't happen without the works. Uh, in order to receive greater, you got to do greater. As 
life. We know that faith without works is dead. I'm uh, talking about a faith that's alive, uh, a faith that is expected more, a faith that's believing God for greater is a faith that can't be stagnant, but a faith that's willing to do the work. And as we take a look at this chapter, uh, we have Jesus who starts off in an introduction or warming his disciples up for his departure, uh, but he gives them comfort by telling them to let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in the Father, believe also in me. And he doubled down on it and he said, let not your heart be troubled. I know you might have bills stacked up to the ceiling right now, but let not your heart be troubled. I know you might be trying to figure some things out in your life right now, but let not your heart be troubled. I know your relationship with your family might be in shambles right now, but let not your heart be troubled. I know that you might not have the job that you want or the place that you want to stay or the car that you want to drive, but let not your heart be troubled. You might just be going through tough times where you don't know what to do, but be of good cheer, a, a good cheer, but let not your heart be troubled. He's assuring them and letting them know that you are not alone. And your faith is all that you got. And your faith is all that you need. He's constantly saying in this chapter, can you just believe in me? Can you just believe in the Father? Can you just have a little bit of faith? Because faith in God can produce wonders. A faith in God, it can produce the miraculous. Faith in God, it can produce the greater because all you got to do is believe God when God says that he'll never leave you or forsake you. You got to believe God when he says that he would never leave you comfortably. You got to believe God uh, when he says that I am the way, I am the truth, and the life that no one comes to the Father but by Jesus. You can't go through Muhammad to get to God. You got to go through Jesus. You can't go through Confucius to get to God. You got to go through Jesus. You can't go through Buddha to get to God. You got to go through Jesus. You can't go through crystals. You can't go through sage. You can't go through tarot cards to get to God. You got to go through Jesus. You can't go through Buddha to get to God. You got to go through Jesus. You can't go through a medium to get to God. You got to go through Jesus. You can't go through a Ouija board to get to God. You got to go to Jesus. As Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and that no one can come through the Father but through me. And that leads me to my first point. It's your connectivity and your beliefs in Jesus that's opened the door for greater. It's your connectivity and your belief in God that's going to open the door for greater. What do you mean, Pastor Vance? Let me help you. The disciples were close to Jesus. They were talking to Jesus. They were uh, in an intimate space with Jesus, but they were asking questions on how to get closer to God. They were asking questions like, Lord, just show us the way. Uh, they were asking us questions. He was asking questions, Lord, just show us the Father. Uh, they were asking questions of, uh, uh, where are you going, Lord? So wherever you go, I want to know because that I want to be with you. And you can hear the humility in their cries. Uh, they were more concerned with eternity and not the cares of this world. Uh, their pleas wasn't selfish. Their pleas wasn't, uh, fulfill, uh, wasn't to fulfill the desires and the lust of the flesh. They sincerely wanted to know more about God and his ways. And when are you going to get to a point where you just want God and not stuff? When is God going to be enough for you when you just want to be close to God? When will you want to be intimate with God with just being close to God and just want to worship God is going to be enough to you? Will you just get to a point where you don't want the things where you say, Lord, just fix my heart. When you ain't worried about the new house and you just say, Lord, I just need you to fix my heart. When you ain't worried about new promotion or worried about new money. When you are just say, Lord, just help me get my soul right. When will you get to that point where you, all you want is to be in right standing with God so that your beliefs and your faith will work for you so you can get results out of life. My God. When you apply the word and 
see the word work in your life, when you're able to see manifest manifestations in your life, as they all wanted God, and they weren't making any excuses on why they weren't close to God. They didn't make no excuses on why they didn't come to Bible study. They weren't making no excuses on why they weren't coming to prayer. They weren't making no excuses on why they're not working, why they're working on Sunday, why they're not coming to church. All they wanted to do was just be close to God. Well, Jesus opened up his mouth at the beginning of the pericope, where it says, Verily, verily, whosoever believe in me would do the works that I do. He said, Verily, verily, whosoever believes in me would do the works that I do. You can tell what a person really believes in according to how they treat one another. You can tell what somebody's faith level is according to how they behave on a daily basis. And in 2024, we can't keep, be, be, keep behaving like unbelievers. Those who are in the world and acting like you don't know God. We can't keep on saying, oh, God is working on me. Oh, God is not through with me yet. Oh, you already know I got me some flaws. Stop using it as a crutch to stay in that you got to be great. Prosper. 
prosperous, and thou shalt then have good success. You got to live this word for greater works. You got to breathe this word for greater works. You got to meditate on this word day in and day out for greater works because it's the word mixed with your faith that produces the power to do greater because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and it was the word through God that came to this earth uh, in the incarnation of God in the flesh through sweet baby Jesus and when Jesus was no longer a baby Jesus grew up to a grown man when he was at the age of 33 he was crucified and he was dead and buried and the third day he rose from the dead but when he rose from the dead he had all power in his hand he rose with all power that power was transformed to you and because you got because Jesus got power. Jesus is not dead. Jesus is alive. Jesus is lives in our heart. Because he's our personal Lord and Savior. That's how we are able to do greater works. Because Jesus ain't dead, honey. Jesus is alive. Because Jesus was in me. He would give me the power to do the greater works. And they who believe in him shall do greater works. They who trust in him, they shall do greater works. They who live for him, they shall do greater works. They who are committed to him shall do greater works because Jesus lives and Jesus lives in you. Because greater is he who is in me than he who is of the world. Greater is he who is in me than greater uh, than he who is of the world that how you do uh, the greater works, God will carry you through it. Amen. Jesus' ministry was only three years, but Christ in your heart will live forever. forever. Greater works. Uh, Jesus performed a miracle uh, so that we can be a miracle to those who are in need. I'm talking Amen. about greater works. Yeah. Jesus healed the blind. So that you can help a little boy or you can help a little girl have vision of going to college, having a vision of how to be successful, having a vision on how I'm going to make it out the hood because yeah. Jesus carried you out of the hood. I'm talking about greater works. Jesus fed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves so that you can feed hundreds through your ministry, so you can feed thousands through your song ministry, so you can do a greater work. I'm talking about greater work in the year of 2024, and the name of Jesus will be a year of greater works. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Here's my third and final point, and we can go home in the name of Jesus. <laughs> God wants glory for your life. Amen. Yes, he does. God yes, wants does. glory out of your life, Joshua. God wants glory out of your life, Hugh. What do you mean, Pastor Vance? Let me help you. Well, I can help you. Because see, God wants glory for your life. And the proof that God wants glory out of your life is because you're still here. Because there's a greater work for you to do. Have you ever just been sitting in the car riding and thought about why have God spared me? Why have God spared you? When you could have lost your life, you're still here because of greater works. Why, uh, why is it that God keep waking you up every morning when people are losing their mind and dying on a daily basis over here at Baylor Scottish Right, over here at JPS, over here in this medical district? You ain't here because God woke you up yeah. so that you can do a greater work. Yeah. Why is it that God keep extending grace and mercy uh, to you over and over? Why am I still here? Yes, you still here because of a greater work. A God keeps sparing you and preserving you and keeping you because God got greater in store for you. Yes, God. God, I want to be so close to you in 2024 and have a relationship with you on a personal level that whatsoever you ask in my name, mm -hmm. so that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. I'm talking about greater works. God want glory out of your life. Yes, God spared you for a greater work. You could have died in COVID, but God yes. spared you for a greater work. And you could have lost your life by some of the dumb stuff that you've done, but God preserved you so you can do a 
are great at work. Some of you all received some of the most negative reports that you've gotten for a doctor, but you are still here and you are still moving. Some of you all have lost your mind, but you are still here because God is preserving you because of a greater work. You could have been in a bad accident, but God preserves you. You are still here so you could do a greater work. That time that you went asleep behind the wheel, it was the angelic host who kept you and preserved you, and the angelic came with that's not by coincidence. That's not by happenstance. It just didn't happen. God preserved you and kept you because God want to do greater in your life. God want to bring glory to your life. God want to preserve you and do a work that I have seen nor ears have heard. Neither that enter into the heart of mankind. Thank you. A greater work. I'm talking about in 2024. Greater in your love walk. I'm talking about greater in happiness. I'm talking about greater in your faith. I'm talking about a greater sense of joy. I'm talking about a greater passion in 2024. I'm talking about greater peace in your heart, greater peace in your mind, greater peace in your soul. 2024, I'm talking about greater opportunity. I'm talking about greater in the name of Jesus. Amen. And in my closing, I don't want to mislead you, but greater is not going to happen if you ain't Christ-like. You better know it. Greater is not going to happen if your attitude still stinks. Uh, greater is not going to happen if your mind stay in the gutter. Uh, greater is not going to happen if you're not close to God or have a relationship with God. Uh, 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 you'll have the same year that you had last year and you're going to keep on singing that same sad song of shoulda, coulda, woulda. But greater is not going to happen without you getting planted in the word and established in the word and getting planted in the church and getting planted in the community. Amen. And my clothes will become intimate with God and stay close to God and get consumed with this word by being obedient to God as Leviticus 26, 3 and 4. It says, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then will I give you rain and due season. And the land shall yield its produce. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. I'm talking about greater in the name of Jesus. Your life will be greater because God want to bring glory out of your life. The spirit of the Lord has spoken. The doors of the church are open. Greater in the name of Jesus. You got to believe greater. You got to think greater. No more staying in lower bar. You got to come on up in 2024. You got to change your surroundings to get greater. Uh, you got to change some things. You got to need some things to shift in order for you to have greater. You got to uh, uh, change your position and your posture in 2024 in order to receive greater. I declare in the name of Jesus that 2024 will be the year of greater. And if you've never received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you can come down and start a life of greater this day in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Whatever happened in January, February, March, April, and autumn, it don't matter. You can leave it in 2023 and start over today where you can get your heart, your mind, your soul right this day in the name of Jesus. Greater works. Uh, if you was on the right track and you was doing great, but then you backslid and right. went into a different a uh, 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 direction, maybe you went through a bad breakup, you went through a church hurt, you went through some mess, and you weren't able to just think clear after you went through all of that, you could start over and leave that in 2023 and start over right now in the name of Jesus and start thinking greater works. If you want to get planted in a church home, getting planted in a church home is important for you to start that greater work. You can come down. I'd love to be your pastor. I'd love to walk with you. I'd love to see you get established in the word, get established in the community, and so forth. You can come down. If you simply just need prayer for your family, you need prayer, you're dealing with addiction, you're dealing with stuff that you just can't shake, that you really want to leave it in 2023, uh, but every time you say you want to leave something, you go back and pick it back up, to a point where you ain't moving forward, then all you keep doing is going around in a circle over and over and over. Come down and let us pray for you in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord has spoken. Let me get some prayer.